With the Zmodeler brush selected, hover over a poly and press spacebar to open up the Polygon Zmodeler menu. At the top here, select the Bevel action. Underneath this action, you'll see you have a wide range of targets in which you can apply this bevel to. And then also a series of modifiers down below that will determine how many rows of geometry are generated with the bevel. To start off, let's select the target of all polygons. Now coming across any polygons on my mesh, you'll notice that the dialog will tell you that it's set to bevel all polygons. So clicking and dragging on any poly will produce a beveled area across all the edges of your model. If I come back into my modifier menu here, I can determine how many of these rows I actually want this bevel to have. So if I come over here and select 8, then go back to my model and undo, and reapply the bevel all polygon process, you'll notice that I have 8 rows of geometry that have been generated on all the beveled edges of the object. If I press spacebar again and go back into the Zmodeler poly menu, let's go down to the bottom here and I'm going to change my modifier to determine how sharp I want that actual edge to be. These sharpness values are going to determine how these rows of geometry that are generated inside the bevel are going to be positioned on the actual edge. So if I select sharp edge and now come back in and bevel all polygon edges, you're going to notice that those eight edges that are generated have been bumped towards the outer edges of the actual bevel. This will allow you to produce a hard edge model when using the dynamic subdivision mode inside of ZBrush. So to give you a demonstration of this, let's undo that quick and then go over here to the geometry tab under the tool menu, locate the dynamic subdivision palette and turn on dynamic. Now down here you have a smooth subdivision level. I'm just going to come here and set this to 2. By default your mesh is now going to look like this. At any time you can turn off this dynamics value over here and you can also hit shift D on your keyboard. With this turned off I'm just going to come over here and bevel all polygons again. So now that we have that 8 rows of geometry bumped through the edges there, if I activate the dynamic subdivision mode and turn off my polyframes you're going to get this effect. So if I undo that change really quick and turn off dynamic and polyframe back on and now hit spacebar again to go back into my polygon action menu here. Let's change this to soft edge instead of sharp edge. So now if I drag this out on my model, you're going to notice that those eight edges of geometry are put right in the middle of that actual bevel. So now if I come back over and activate the dynamic subdivision and turn off polyframe again, you're going to get this nice smooth bevel on your model. So using the dynamic subdivision along with the modifiers down here, you can determine how soft or how harsh you want that bevel to be applied on your model.